Welcome back to the channel guys quick one today we're going to take this cheap fly sky six channel i6 radio and convert it to a 10 with a simple firmware upgrade. To do this upgrade you're just going to need your i6 radio whatever brand it's branded under. You're going to need a serial programmer. Uh, this is just an FTDI one with an FTDI chip. Uh, it's actually an authentic one because it actually works on my computer. You can use a CH340 chip. Uh, if you run into troubles with that, I'll have a video. I'll post a link up there how to get your CH340 working. It's really, really easy. We're going to hook the ground up to the case, the round connection on the trainer port. We're gonna hook the RX to the TX and the TX to the RX. Uh, people get confused and they often wanna match them up. RX to RX, TX to TX, that won't work. You have to be talking out of mouth and in an ear, so to speak. That's the, the best analogy I can give. But any programmer is gonna work. You can use an Arduino as well. That's it. We're going to go ahead and hook it up and I'll show you the firmware. So you get this firmware on GitHub. This is the Bojangles FlySky i6 mod. Some great instructions, all the info that you need to do this mod. Download the firmware and open up the Flasher program. We're going to go ahead and plug in here. We get our FTDI plugged in. I'm going to check in my device manager and see what COM port it's assigned to. It should be COM2, and it is. Here we go, USB serial port, COM2. Go ahead and change this to COM2. And we're going to go ahead and get the radio into firmware upgrade mode. So to do that, we move both sticks down to the left, turn it on. We're going to scroll down until we find firmware update. Press OK to proceed. Are you sure? Yes, we're sure. Update mode is on. With any luck, when we press open port, we should get some info. And we do. And this is already updated because I just did it. But we're going to do it again anyway. We're going to hit program. And with any luck, this is going to program our firmware up to a full 10 channels. Blam. Done. Radio rebooted. Worked perfect. It's just as easy as that. We've now added four more channels and use all of our switches here. We can go right in now and go into setup, go into our aux channels. Actually, we can go into display and you can see all these channels are now set up and working. Now, if they're not fully functional, all these lower auxes, it's really easy to go ahead and assign those to the switches you want. Go in here and I've got channel 5 on switch C, channel 6 on D, so I'm going to have flight modes and my arm switch, and then all the rest of them are assigned all the way across. So we have all 10 channels to use for whatever we want over the iBus protocol on our quadcopter. Simple as that, guys. Hope this helps someone. Throw a comment down below if this helped you. Uh, I love this little radio. It's a great little mod. It's for a 40 some odd dollar radio to get 10 channels out of it. I love it. This is fantastic. Hope you guys have a fantastic week. See you next video.